Welcome to the episode today uh, here in North Carolina. Just for today, I'm leaving early tomorrow morning. I think it's early tomorrow morning. Early tomorrow morning um, to drive up to Connecticut. So uh, I got a lot of work done this morning, which was like really nice to get done. And that was just good. Um, right now, I'm actually off to iFly Charlotte to, to indoor skydive to get some, because I'm not going to be jumping out of an airplane, but I want to stay in prep. I dive, I dive, I fly Charlotte is where we're, uh, where I'm off to right now. So, uh, I uh, just made it to iFly. Look at this building. Isn't that, it's a cool building. Anyways, just made it to iFly and uh, time to get some tunnel time in with an instructor I've never met before. Tunnel time in, in Charlotte. Good, good. This uh, this wind tunnel is a little bit different than the one out out in Orlando. I, th I think it's just a single it's a single tunnel, but uh, it's a, it's kind of a cool building. It's a round building. We'll see see what it's like in there. Just waiting for my instructor. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a piece of advice I heard recently that I want to talk about in this episode, but I do want to jump first. Uh, so after I jump, we're going to talk about a piece of advice that I heard recently. And I, I think it really goes for any professional field. I really put it towards a creative field, though, because that's, well, that, that, that's what I do. Let me jump and we'll talk. All right. Uh, Left eye fly. Um, really, really good time to just get in the tunnel, work on some new things. So, uh, yep. Anyways, I want to talk about this. Uh, I guess this quote that I heard recently. Um, and the quote is If you wouldn't do it for a dollar, don't do it for a million dollars. And I, you know, that's been kind of going through my head since I've heard that quote a few days ago. And I want to address that here on the vlog. Um, when I first started, like, production work, whether that's video production or audio, um, or, you know, like some social media, you know, like making websites and stuff, that, that graphic design kind of stuff, I almost never, I actually never turned down a gig for the first about five years of my career. I always said yes to every gig I took, um, which gave me the experience that I have today. Um, and I took those gigs, some of them were free, a lot of them were, were free, and then a lot of them I, were paid, I was paid for. But doing a gig for free really shows how much you're actually dedicated to your craft, I feel like. Um, there's some, you know, filmmakers, editors, musicians I know that are great. They're, they're amazing, but if they do it for free, they don't feel like they have to put a lot of work into it. And for me, I put just the same amount of work for a million dollars as I do for no dollars. Uh, because, because my name's attached to that. It's my work. Um, more recently, I haven't been taking all the gigs. I haven't been doing, you know, everything because I now have a team. But when I didn't have a team, I took every gig. Um, and, and I feel like that quote, if you want to do it for a million dollars, or if you want to do it for one dollar, if you want to do it for one dollar, why, why would you do it for a million dollars? It, it really shows passion in a craft. And like vlogging, you know, um, now I do make some money off of vlogging. Um, at first I didn't. I was doing it for fun, knowing I'm not gonna make any money off of this. And now that I am, I'm still treating it as, as if I don't, because I don't want that to hinder the way these vlogs are. Like I am doing really fun things, I'm doing helicopters and stuff, but it's not the vlog money that's paying. I'm paying that out of my own pocket. Um, because I want to bring good content, but I'm not being paid for that content. I'm paying 
for that. Like I'm paying money to make that content rather than someone paying me to make the content. If that makes, I don't know, I don't know, if, sorry if that was like this for the whole time. Um, if that makes sense. I just, I feel like I had to say that on this vlog. Um, if you're in a creative field, which I imagine some of you are, just, just think about that. Think, if you won't do it for a dollar, don't do it for a million dollars. So, yeah, like, th this, this movie I'm making with Brent, it's, we're, we're doing it with no, no budget, no money, just for fun. But those are the types of projects that I love to do. I love doing those projects um, because it really shows I can really like be creative. I'm not locked into somebody saying like, here's your budget, make it happen. I can kind of do whatever I want with this project. Um, and that's why like, that shows that like, I will do it for a dollar. I will do it for a dollar because, or I'll do it for no dollars actually. But I, you know, like it has this really cool, like that quote, I just, there's something about that quote that just gets me. A friend of mine told me this idea that if you wouldn't do it for one dollar, don't do it for a million dollars. And when I think about the things that I'm investing myself in professionally right now, I'm working on a big movie, I'm working on YouTube videos. I hope I get paid for them, but I would absolutely do them if I knew I would never get paid for them. I would do them if I knew that I'd lose money doing them. Um, and that to me really shows that I'm, I'm doing the right thing.